Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And as um, most of you know, if you're still on Windows 10, end of support is going to happen uh, in October. And Microsoft has promised for home users a one-year extension for $30. Now, there's one thing that somebody asked me, and it has to do with the Pro version of Windows 10. Because we got Windows 10, but we got Windows 10 Pro version that is different. And so for home users, if you have the home version, you only have one year at $30. But um, technically, the Pro version should be enabled uh, and capable of three-year extension, as it is used also for businesses. And uh, indeed, there's probably that possibility with the higher price rate, though, that it costs for the Pro version, which is more expensive and gives you three years, but at a cost that is quite high. Um, so uh, I would suggest that whatever version you are using, Home or Pro, uh, that you use the zero patch updates. Uh, zero patch has uh, confirmed that they will be giving uh, security updates to Windows 10 until 2030. So for 30 a year, you could extend your PC for five years uh, from 2025 to 2030. So this would give you ample time to, you know, maybe at some point in there, move on to a new PC. So zero patch, I think, is one of the better solutions for, you know, having your PC last longer. Uh, and um, they did say at least 2030. That means it could even be more than 2030. Of course, there's a lot of you that are talking about the uh, famous long-term support version of Windows and all of that, but the reason I don't really talk much about it is simply that for the majority of people, it's kind of nobody knows exactly how to do that and how to you know have that running, and, and so it... Uh, definitely isn't a solution for the average user. Uh, it's really the, the the PC geeks out there that know about it and and will have that. Um, so zero patch would be you know technically the best. Um, and of course over time things will change. And uh, I see it often. One of the things that you got to remember is that all those security updates will be there. Your browsers and the software you use might actually stop having their own updates at some point, which means you'd be vulnerable through different ways uh, at some point. So, you know, uh, extended support is, uh, is, is there. I think it's, it could be worth it for a lot of people that either don't have the money for a new PC yet or just want to keep using their old computers for a while. And uh, for those, once again, that are geeks, uh, there was an article that I was reading today that uh, there was a uh, kind of a patch or a, you know, workaround on Windows 7 where uh, a lot of users that wanted to continue using Windows 7 at the time were getting the, uh, the security updates for free. Of course, it's illegal to do so in the license agreement of Microsoft Windows, but uh, that article is mentioning that the same trick that was working for Windows 7 would probably work on Windows 10 unless they make a change uh, at some point later this year. But uh, yeah, zero patch, I think, is the way to go. Um, that will be you know, giving you updates for several years, at least 2030, as they say. Um, and I think that would be the best way to go beyond, and it will be at $30 per year. So, um, you know, it's a, th it's a thing to think about, especially with so many computers still on Windows 10. I think it's something that will be, uh, that will be uh, popular up to a certain extent. If you love my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.